Hello YouTube, this is The Intake, presented by Mike's Model Shop, and I'm Mike. Welcome back. This is my final for the 70 Challengers group build, hosted by Joe at Joe's Rush Shop. Go check out Joe's Rush Shop, give him a like and a sub. He's got a lot of good, good content, he's a good guy. Uh... I jumped in this group build late because I, um, I didn't know about it. And when I did, I realized I had the, seven, the exact model he was talking about. And what a great reason to build it. To jump into a group build. Uh, I did did a lot to this one that I don't, don't normally do. Most of it learned from other YouTubers. And I appreciate that. Appreciate people sharing their their talent and tricks and ideas and how tos and so what I first thing I did that was a one of the big items that I really wanted to try was doing the uh, resto mod look, Frenching in windows, eliminate all the trim and the drip rails, which I did. I think it looks really sleek. Really makes the car look modern, sharp. They're all gone. Worked out well, and I eliminated the little B pillar. Really wasn't. It was supposedly the edge of the window, right there. I eliminated that window. I just like the way that hardtop look looks. It makes the car look sleek. I also. Um, First time ever, I got some Tamiya smoke and tinted the back window to go with the theme of the car, which was shadowing. So, what I mean by that, and I said it in the uh, update video, is I painted the car in the silver metallic rust -Oleum. Um 7271 is the UPC number on it. Um, but I painted the hood in the front. And I don't have a pointer this time. I'll, hopefully I can find it easy enough. I painted the front it was area all in here. And the spoilers, the chin spoilers, were all painted in a black primer before I used the uh, Createx Wicked Color. The pearl lime green. <clears throat> this is the color I use. By Createx. Hopefully it'll focus here. Yeah, there you go. Um, and I... And it turned out cool. I mean, it did what I was hoping it to do. The hood's dark. Because the front panel's dark. And these are darker. And as you turn, they change colors. They get a little darker, depending on what light's hitting them. Um... But in, inside the grill, the center of the actual grill portion here, um, and up in the scoop, and any the vents, obviously, I used just evergreen um, Americana craft paint, but I watered it down. I used it kind of like a panel line. Same technique I used for the interior seats. Is I, I use a little bit darker color, and I water it down. To do the shading. I don't... I'm not a big fan. I, I look at these cars more of... Artistic. Than I do as uh, replicas. Uh, I love cars. But I like them to look... Pretty. And any way I can make them look pretty. I, I will. I'm trying to eliminate... Panel lines. That's me. A lot of people love the panel lines. and believe they should be there. If I had my way... I wouldn't have panel lines at all. As you can tell. I... I deepen them a little bit, but I don't darken them. I don't like them. I'm sorry, but I know that goes against the grain. But uh, it's just the way I see it. As I see this as artistic versus uh, replicas. So the spoiler is also done with the black primer. As you can see, it's changing colors a little bit there. Pretty cool. And in this, this little um, back panel right here. That's black. That was black primer as well. Um, <clears throat> this is silver, 
silver, not silver. It's charcoal metallic by Createx. I'm sorry. Charcoal metallic by Createx. Um, that's what the bumpers and the wheels are. And the, even, the, even the gas cap. Um, I think it gives it a cool look. I did uh, gel pen. It's a gold gel pen to keep up with my gold. I think it sets off the wheels. I didn't like the wheels just in the charcoal. Again, I'm sorry. Um, this charcoal can be a lot more silvery if you use a white primer versus I used a black. Or you can use a metallic. And uh, the, that's what it, it came out real dark with the uh, black primer, which I think looks cool. Because uh, going with my theme again. The shadowing and the darkness. Um, some problems with the paint. Some problems with a lot of little things. It's all me learning. So we're going to just live and learn, right? I'm going to learn to paint when it's less humid. So clear coat when it's less humid. Things like that. I'll show you the engine real quick. Even though I've showed the engine before. But this is finished now. So, I, I did put this six-pack decal on there, not the other ones. I didn't want to use the other ones. This car's more of a custom version than a original stock replica. It's wired back there, but you can really barely see them, which is my preference. Um, gold engine, gold radiator to go with my colors. Another thing is underneath... It's all gold and silver or aluminum. The forest green, evergreen. Underneath in the, in the chassis. Keep with the green. So, I do it. I will have stills at the end. But there's the interior, which is going to be hard to see. Um, it's got the evergreen dash. Tan seats. Wood steering wheel and... and Door panels have the wood in them. Can't see really, but you'll see the stills at the end. If you want to see that, check it out. Um, I had painted that interior white. I, I mentioned in the other video. And it just... It was before I came up with all my other colors. Um, and I just couldn't take it. I, took, I literally had it all. The dashboard was glued in. The seats were glued in. It was done. So I took it apart. <laughs> I couldn't take it. I didn't. The white was too stark with the the other colors. The, the way I was heading, the direction I was heading on this one, so I I couldn't do it. Uh, so I redid the whole interior, made it tan, and it looks way better. It goes with the gold and the green better. So I want to thank Joe for hosting this. Thank you to all my subscribers, which. I'm sorry I don't mention that in every video and I get mad at myself for forgetting. But I appreciate all my subscribers. Um, it's a lot of fun. Love doing these videos. Love watching the videos and learning how to make models better. Um, just, just so much fun. Thanks to everyone. Thanks for all the content providers showing us all these tips and tricks. Thank you for the subs, and thanks, Joe, for hosting this. Helping me uh, get this one out of the box and on the shelf. Thank you very much. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you on the next video. Please like, subscribe, and leave a comment. Take care.